Welcome back, folks, to Farming Simulator 2022. We're going to sell some stuff. We got a big episode today, um, so we're going to get rid of some tomatoes. No, them are strawberries. Tomatoes we put in the production buildings, and I think I mentioned this, but we're actually going to run the production buildings down and then go ahead and keep going, uh, or uh, then we're going to probably move them to town. Or something to that effect. Let's not tip over. I do that a little bit. <laughs> All right, so go through our nice little town here. Also, it is a beautiful out today in real life. It is uh, like seven in the morning, and it's like 50, 60 degrees, which is really nice here. But they're already calling for 90s where I live, and so we went from snow to 90s in less than two weeks. Um, that's going to be pretty crazy for us. Uh, let's see here. What do we got for money now? Alright, so this today, we have, it's the first month or day in October. We have quite the harvest getting ready to go here. Um, so we need to get back to the farm and get ready to harvest some fields. Man, that fence looks good. I'm going to hire that guy again. Yeah, it was me that did that fence. However, the guy that remembers to sell these pallets is uh, not as good as the guy that builds the fence. We probably should get that guy to sell the pallets. He's, uh, he's a little smarter, I think. And <laughs> we could use extra cash anyway. Uh... We don't, I think we're going to be buying a pretty new piece of equipment in here. Uh, but we got to do our harvest first. Um, and like I said too, guys, we're getting ready for that precision mod. So we're not going to be planting today. Um, but we are getting pretty close to being ready for the precision mod. And I can't wait. I'm super excited about that. All right. Now I think we're good to go over and harvest. So, we have three fields, our last three fields of the year. We have soybeans here. Uh, we have, I believe these are sunflowers here. And our corn. Also, I know I'm crazy, but I love the way the sunflowers and the corn look when they're growing. Um, especially the corn that grows up by me in real life. So, I am kind of biased to that but let's anyway let's get uh big red going here and uh, let's hit the harvest
Something we're also going to be doing now that we're on the two episode days, and we did beat out the rain on the harvest, I might add, but something we're going to be doing also is an animal check on the one day. I'm not sure what day it'll be, but so how we're sitting on animals, let's just have a save pop right in. That's always wonderful. There we go. So the pigs... Uh, have already reproduced once they just reproduced and they are going pretty well i might actually we'll see if i run that food down a little bit on them and the kind of uh get it down so it can get balanced we need to get more green in in there so we're not have to do it every two seconds the cows now have started to really do pretty well. We have our third set, but I think you guys knew that about six months ago. Um, and then we're going to look at these pens here. And the chickens have been going bonkers. So our first, our old chicken is, I believe that one, 22 months. Let's see if there's any older ones. Uh, oh, i seen a 27. Oh, never mind. Alright, so they are going pretty good. As you can see, the chickens are really starting to take hold. We're going to look at the pens too. And also, if you look right in here, we are really picking up on the Shep front. Yeah, the Sheps are going crazy. So, uh, where was... Oh yeah, and we're getting starting to get some manure. We're going to have to look at getting a manure spreader here eventually. Let's look at each animal pen, though, just to keep you guys a little updated. We're at 21 to 80, so we're good there. Uh, this one right here is 12 out of 80, so we're plenty good on pigs. Plenty good on pigs. But I think we're starting to get pretty close. Oh, 45. Oh, we're going to have to buy... Wow, when do they, let's look at our, so sheep, we're already like full, um, reproduction, zero, we have a tiny bit of time, we have like two months, and we gotta get another pen for sheep, that's, that's really interesting, so we're close there, and we're gonna take a gander here at cows, uh, where are you? You're on the other side, aren't you? It's really cool that we're really getting a farm going, even though we started out as Adam and Eve stuff here. And 24 out of 45, so we're actually going to be looking at getting a cow pen soon. Definitely sheep pen. Um, now, one thing with this guy, though, as we look in here uh, on our animals, the cows... That slurry is almost completely full. So today we are going to be using that up a little bit. However, let's go up here. We are going to upgrade this little slurry guy. We got some more horsepower on the farm, some more big ponies. And this guy was really good to us. And I actually used him quite a bit off camera. But we are going to trade him in. Also, we're going to get rid of them stinking headers. Um, the header trailers. These guys, they just kind of hook on everything. So, let's go ahead. Sell. 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 So, 17,000 in used equipment. And that's actually not too bad. So, we're going to be taking a look at slurry tanks. Uh, where are you right here so we're gonna look let's take a look at our modded ones really kind of don't have a whole lot of options obviously we're gonna be getting into this big guy eventually that will be really cool but that's not what we can do we can't really afford any of these yet but we can get into uh 220 that's a little high on the horsepower we don't want to make that big a jump. So we start right here. 8-8. Eight, eight. That's basically what we had. 58. 150 horse. I feel like this right here. 
pretty good setup. And I know this guy's a little bit better right here for, you know, pretty similar prices. But I want to try this guy out. Hmm. 15 meters, 6.8. Yeah, so this guy's going to be a little bit smaller. But I'm okay with that. We, we got to progress. And I can tell you, uh, let's grab the end here as well. I believe that's the end, yeah. Okay, these are some high-power horsepower pieces of equipment. I mean, we got some in here. Look, I mean, look at this bad boy. 275, 350 horse. And even the manure spreaders get like that. We're going to have to buy a manure spreader really soon here. And, the, I mean, these are some pretty high horsepower pieces of equipment, like... 500 I mean that's insane and I absolutely want this guy eventually that thing is awesome <laughs> uh, so uh, where oh of course I left the pink panther in here now if I remember right the horsepower is like 150 so we should be plenty fine on our slurry tank yeah so Oh, 150 plus 40. So I'm grabbed, glad I grabbed that little one because that horsepower rating, I mean, that's really what we need here. I'm hoping as we connect these up, we can beat that ran. I don't feel like uh, doing this all in the rain. And honestly, um, I think this thing is going to be pretty pretty beefy all right so let's get this guy home holy moly is that thing yeah we i'm glad we didn't bring silver up here poor old silver would have not been able to get this guy home probably back at the farm so interesting thing too for you guys i haven't put like a no hire policy on we're gonna hire workers eventually but i haven't even thought about it yet so uh, but we're going to have to build another house and do that. Well, we did build a house, I guess, for a worker in town. Um, but I'm not opposed to hiring workers. So let's see. Can we fill this guy? Now, I didn't look at how much he holds, but that thing is really getting flattened out, that tire. 13,000. Activated, doubled application rate oh i shouldn't be driving through the grass here interesting so i did do one pass um over here with our old one to run out what it had so it does all right so this is pretty much fertilized anyway all right so we're not going to go to here well, let's go to another spot actually the fields we just did um, definitely need it. So, if we do, hmm, I want to know what that activate double thing is. I'm thinking we only need to do one application of it instead of two. So, let's unfold. Let's not activate it. Um, also, we need to plow anyway over here because that's corn. Every time you do corn, you need to plow in this game. Oh, yeah, fertilizer. What was the fertilizer? It was 2 0. All right, so let's do turn on when we get close here. Um, lower. Boy, what are we? Oh, okay, there we go. So we are plowing now. We're not plowing. I mean, we're we're move, making time here, so that's not bad. Oh, all right. So let's just do this one strip. All right. Let's turn it off. Let's lift her up. Let's see what it was. Was that fifty percent? Yeah. Okay, it's fifty percent. So when we do a narrow strip like that, you get some weird reading sometimes because the field is doing it all in one deal so let's activate double and then let's see 
if we go buy again, or on this roll, let's make sure this is zero. Yeah, it's zero. And let's go on here. Lower. Oh, I kind of went a little early. But let's see if it's doing 100%. Wow, this... Who would have thought this slurry tank... It really... We we might have to big pull up the big horse for this guy. Oh, I think you wait. Never mind. I think you go slower when you place down double. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. Let's uh turn off. Because I'm thinking that's what the case was here. Oh, and it does. So it gives it 100% in one pass. Huh. I got these three fields to do. I might... I might do the 100%, actually. And how much do we have for slurry? Oh, uh, we sell 32,000. So I think we're going to do the normal pass right now. I do believe. Well, let's do this field. We'll do this field in double. All right, let me get this field done, and then I'll stop back in with you. We had to put Pink Panther away. That hill is ridiculous. It took me a long time to get done, and we wasted a ton of stuff. So let's go back over here. Let's hook up. He was getting... He has the power to do it on Flatland. Um, let's see. Unfold. Come on, Unfold. Oh, unfold distributor. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on. And let's activate double. All right, let's see if he has much of a problem with it. Yeah, see, even he's having a rough time on these hills. So it does go 10. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but it will go 10. So, it's like everything's struggling with this guy here. And we have it on, yeah. And I know even when it was doing double, it could go up to 10 miles an hour here. Let's, let's stop. Let's see if it'll re-go up to 10 now. There we go. Come on. Peg her up one more gear. Huh. It's kind of weird. Each machine is getting stuck here. And I know that sounds crazy, but when we go into a flat spot, it generally will kick up to 10. All right, so let's turn around. Why is it stuck now? It's not... Something crazy is going on here with this slurry spreader. Um, three hundred horse. And it's pulling at five miles an hour. And I did have it going way faster than five. In fact, we get to the end of this row. Um, we're going to check the speed on the slurry spreader here really quick all right let's turn it off all right so if we look because i did have it going 10 miles an hour even on the doubled rate where it does 100 percent we're just gonna go ahead and look so it's nine nine miles an hour yeah and we were going 10 so hmm let's put it down to normal rate and we'll just go over here and just see what happens here. And maybe, I don't know what it's doing. It's kind of odd. Lower. 
and turn on. Oh, turn off. We want to get this a little straighter. Man, this thing tastes... I don't know if it's taking a bunch of horsepower or... Alright, let's see. This is just normal. Now it's just still doing it. Huh. Come on, kick up a gear. So no matter what it goes on, it's really just going to have a hard time. Alright, let me get that one done with the big hill. And we'll put Pink Panther on this and see if it does a little better. This thing has me a little bit confused. Also, it does have this really cool... Um, where is it? Uh, I kind of want to show you guys this. Where is... There we go. Look at this. It's got this pipe that goes down. That is really cool. <clears throat> so it did start going 10 miles an hour again. I don't know. Just for a second and then it quit. Let me go see if I have issues with it again. No, it's just buggy. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it goes 10 miles an hour. That's, that's a weird one. And I have it on... Uh, single now, but it doesn't matter. That doesn't seem to make a difference on it at all, because actually I thought that's what it was. Maybe double was slower, but that's not it. So, like, I'm going to show you guys here. It'll just stop. Uh, let's, we'll go, it'll go 10 for right now, and then what'll happen is, let's just say I stop right here while it's turned on, and you see it. I'm at six again so I don't know what's doing it and I didn't switch it it's not on double rate and we're kind of plowing through our slurry when it does that and when it's only when it's only doing that and you can see it's lifted up right now not even turned on and it's still doing that so I really wonder what's causing that and I think if I stop it'll go quick now I think yeah that's so weird I don't understand it well, it's not a horsepower issue. We got, we, you know, we got Boss Hog over here, so that's clearly not it. And I feel like Pink Panther was actually had the power. I think it just was freaking out on it, too. So, I think we're probably not going to keep this guy forever. But at least we have a decent one, kind of, with an asterisk, I guess. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next episode, folks. Have a good one.